that is at night you can't feed them and remember in consideration to uh, night and during the day uh, there are a lot of factors to consider oh you're wasting that so during the night there tend to be low oxygen uh, high oxygen is it low uh, there is variation of oxygen so you have to consider that as well so in future i hope all of us will be having big fish farms that can uh, feed the entire county <laughs> yeah it is very possible it's not just as it's, it's, it's very possible then uh, when one of my fellow asked you about him, pilates 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 and this one you said this one is providing the, the reason why i what is that uh, disadvantage here you will have realized when you're feeding pilates to tilapia they float have you seen that? Yeah. So the reason is because we don't want to talk about the producer or the feeds, but we want to talk about how do you produce your own feeds? Yeah. How do you make sure that you are using the available resources to make feeds? The reason is because uh, most of the pellets have a high protein content, which is uh, mostly uh, from plants. And then the digestion system of tilapia to plant protein is a bit not uh, stable in comparison to these catfish. So after they have just eaten them, they have a problem. The energy for digestion, digesting that gets low, then they, they try to survive. So you realize they are coming on top of the water even they die. Yeah. It means these ones are the catfish at this age. Yeah, the catfish, you can feed them at, uh, at any age. I've realized they are the best. These, these are what we call the hyenas of the water. Then the mudfish. Uh... This is catfish, uh. similarly to mudfish. We call it mud because most of the Africa culture have removed them from the mud. So, oh, that is the mudfish. We used to fish them from uh, Paros, the Mtaro.